What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at the lunar festival titan event and the monsters path uh, we'll start with the lunar festival event because i'm way more excited for this one so milestone one not too much going on milestone two we've got a cheeky more soul stone and ancient shard which is always nice uh, milestone three we get some energy then we get mythical charms these are for the forge and we need to hold on to these. You should only use them on your best gear sets. That's lethal, perception, bolster, swift parry, instinct, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, but we're only using that for our best gear sets. Uh, then there's some uh, chaos ores as well, which I'm a big fan of. Can always turn, you know, trash gear to good gear. And then a legendary skill tome. You know, we love the books. Uh, milestone four some lesser oil which is nice a six star haste glyph um, these are so hard to come by there are far and few in the game and you want to be using these only for arena and for your best champion so it's going to be for your best nuka and for turn uh, turn boost champions as well so like arbiter Sifi, suzanne um yeah that's yeah and it's got to be six star gear and it needs to be like a double triple roll or quad roll in speed ideally quad or triple roll but yeah only for your best best gear and it helps with nukas as well because then it means you can put them like attack percentage boots and just then boost up their speed in other places uh, then we got a void shard a mortal soul stone another chaos or and a mythical skill tome i mean amazing you know really really good rewards uh, then um milestone five superior oil nice um immortal soul essence you know, gonna and then a primal shard as well for that one day we might get a mythical champion and then a six star mythical chaos all very very nice and then the main event uh Zenigua Zenigua Zenigre um perfect soul five star this is gonna be huge so for me personally I'm gonna push hard for this um even if there's some shard pulling events I think it's worth it and um, being able to you know she does a triple hit and then two quad hits with this on top and you go phantom touch that's gonna be five hits and then a four hit on the a1 that is gonna be huge for fire knight hard um you know and this is for me i really feel like this is gonna be the key to finally take down fire knight hard um stage 10 but yeah so yeah definitely worth going for it um obviously for mid to early game you're probably gonna struggle but you can still get some very very tasty rewards along the way um but yeah definitely definitely worth going for and the other thing as well is that the only thing i don't like about this is that like with tourman they gave you split so with the split you know if you weren't quite end game you could get at least two or three you know um perfect soul no sorry two or three like um awakenings rather than you know just getting nothing so that kind of sucks but you know it is what it is so the monster's path and this just looks redonkulous to me um so there's some nice rewards up for grabs um but man is it expensive i'm definitely might have to do a little bit just because there's some lunar points in here which is a little bit annoying but it is what it is um, but there's no way as free to play for me that i'm gonna be able to gonna i'm gonna be able to get alatron blade master no way um he's looks pretty decent for hydra i don't think he's going to be as broken as other champions but he's still going to be very very solid uh, we'll look at his kit in a moment so we have to do champion training and we've literally just done it i'm just like oh come on Plarian, please i don't want to do any more champion training I, I don't have the energy and I don't mean in game I mean in real life in real life I do not have that energy to do any more champion training but it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit for the lunar points and sorry the other way we could get them was through sorry I lost my place uh, and the other way was through summoning soul stones and you can see more stone stones not a lot immortal not that much it's all about the eternals and we only just pulled soul stones like a week or two ago so that's gonna be really really hard 
And if we just have a look at my account, you can see 43, three and one. We've barely got anything, but I'm probably gonna have to just pull them all just so I can actually do this. Um, so yeah, so I'm not gonna be gonna go, I'm, there's no way we can go for this guy. Um, it's a real shame though, but let's, let's just go for his kit, kit quickly. So passive, fills this champion's tournament by 5% every time a debuff is placed on them. Also heals this champion by 5% of their max HP whenever a debuff is placed on them or expires. Um, expires or removes, sorry. And, you know, this is going to be so good in Hydra. You've got the head of poison, for, you know, constantly throwing out poisons. You know, you've got provokes, you've got weaken coming at you. So, yeah, that's going to be constantly boosting his turn meter. Then his A3 removes all debuffs from allies and places a block debuffs on all allies for two turns. This is a really good ability, you know, so he's a cleanser. And of course, you know, we're going to be constantly getting turn meter boosts from our passive. So we're going to be cleansing all the time. And not only does it do that, but it protects us. If it's a boss, we get protected buff, which is just insane on a three turn cooldown. I mean, it pretty much means that the boss isn't going to be able to throw debuffs on us pretty much the entire time. So. We're gonna have it on lockdown, so I mean, that's great. Um, A2, attacks for enemies, places increased defense buff and shield buff for two turns, and the shield is equal to 30% of this champion's max HP. Um, again, if it's a boss, which it will be for Hydra, these buffs are protected. This is gonna give us such good survivability. And again, it's on a three turn cooldown, so it's just so huge, like two really, really big, big moves. Then the A1, attacks one enemy, has a 40% chance, books up to 55, random number, 55% chance of cre uh, sorry, increasing the duration of two random buffs and an ally by one turn. The chances are it's going to be our protected buffs. So, I mean, his kit works really well and it's all in sync. And he's also got an increased aura, but it's for dungeons. Why can it just be all battles? Like, this is not going to be so good for Hydra. Well, obviously it's not going to work for Hydra at all, which is a shame. But I mean, his kit, he just looks like, to me, he's just built for Hydra. Obviously, he's going to help for progression in dungeons as well for like earlier game players. I think late game, you know, he's not really... I don't know where I would use him, to be honest, but like it just screams Hydra to me. So yeah, it's a real shame. Like, there's, yeah, like I said, I just will not be able to get him. So we're going to focus on the Lunar points. I am going to have to pull for those. Um, and it is it is what it is, but um, but yeah, definitely need to go hard for these five perfect souls for Zinegre. Um, But yeah, so pumped, can't wait for it. Um, I definitely think you guys need to you know push as hard as you can for the Lunar Festival event. But yeah, good luck, guys. I've been the real deal. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.